Hello everyone, it is Carol Johnson at Lily Rose Blue. Welcome, welcome everyone. I also have Astrid, Arnold, Amber, Angel, Asa, and Adam with us today as well. Not a surprise, they, they usually make an appearance, right? Well, I am filming this, <clears throat> excuse me, on Saturday, March 30th. Um, likely, I don't think this will post until April 1st or 2nd, most likely. Um, I did go and do some thrifting today. Probably I overdid it a little bit um, for my arm, elbow, shoulder that I'm wrestling with, but we'll figure it out. So I went to two places today. You'll see two other videos um, for the other place I went called Houseworks. And then this is my video from the Crowded Closet. So I already have this, this book but I picked it up again because of the size, of the, the width of this binder. I, I need a bigger width binder um, for a couple of different projects that I want to do. And that's kind of been holding me back a, a little. I mean... Huh, is that the only reason I haven't gotten stuff done? No. Also, um, this book includes envelopes, as you can see, with different patterns and, and things like that. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is the spring allergies. Just, they are not great. And somebody obviously used this, wrote on this. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I wasn't in frame there for a minute. But anyway, different patterns for, for different things. Oh, look, it's a bunny rabbit and spring flowers. How appropriate for this weekend. So that's that book. I will keep the binder. And... Who knows what I'll do with the patterns that are in there. I'm going to put this down to the side. Here is a music book for the tambourine. And this is actually embossed. It's quite fancy. Um, I just, I kind of liked the illustrations in here and the way that it was laid out. And to be honest with you, it was initially only 50 cents and it was 75% off. So, you know, like, how could you not? How could you not get that? This, um, as you can see, lovely, beautiful carnation. And it says, a wealth, a wealth of happiness to you. So we have this <clears throat> antique postcard and... Well, goodness, one moment, one moment. Well, maybe I can get that out. There you go. <clears throat> and it was written on. It went to Miss Barbara Brenneman, Kelowna, Iowa, World Route Number 2. Um, it was, it's dated 19, I think 1916. Oh boy, it could be 11, it could be 7, um, but you know the the um, era. It says, hello Barbara, what are you working, where are, what are you working <clears throat> these days? Something painting today. My birthday, something all gone. Right. Wishing you a happy birthday. Ha many happy returns of the day. With best regards, Sadie. 
<clears throat> I'm not sure. I don't think it's that I can't read the card. I think there were some words missing. I, I really do. Then for a dollar. <clears throat> now, this isn't old at all. Amazon Basics, right? But I'll just show you. So here's your order, right? Here's the yellow. And again, just goes on and on like this. There were three books I picked up too. I figured I would either sell one whole book, which is, is maybe likely, and or <clears throat> I plan to coffee dye some of this as well. So that was that. Then there was this book that while I won't do anything with this book, I will sell this book actually. Um, boy, is that cover gorgeous. I thought it'd be perfect for the right junk journaler. This would be a beautiful book. North America by Plane and Train. It's about three quarters of an inch uh, spine. Um, this used to be at the elementary school library at the University of Iowa, Iowa City, Iowa. Imagine that. Um, so this, again, North America by Plane and Train by Allison E. Atchison. Professor of Geography, Iowa State Teachers College, which is now Iowa State University, and Marguerite Utley, and the same thing at Iowa State. Um, copyright 1930. Well, the initial copyright was 1931, but this was published in 1937. So there are just some super. Now, if I can find, there were just some cool pictures in here that I thought were, were fun. Huh. This paper is m mostly matte and, and slick. This is not slick at all and very matte. I mean, you know. Well, where is, of course, I can't find the pages that I was looking for. Oh, this has an aroma. Yes, placing a map of Alaska on the same scale map as the United States above that shows how much Alaska would cover. So Wisconsin, Illinois, Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, parts of North and South Dakota, parts of Nebraska, all of Kansas, a little bit of Oklahoma, and then parts of all of these states and little parts of all of those states. Yeah, we don't realize how vast Alaska is. I thought there were more pictures of trains than what I'm seeing here. So anyway, there's sheep, sheep, There you go. So, there's more sheep. I just thought I loved the cover. And there were just some pictures in here that I thought were, were very cool. So, yeah. And that cover just can't be beat. So, that I am going to sell this. One moment while I reach for something else.
I hit the mother load. I know you can't see this all, but it is columnar sheets. The long ones that used to go into the post books. I used to love to do that. I can't wait to work with these. Some of this I'm going to dye. Some of this I'm just going to keep as it is and use. So yeah, I am keeping this. I am very stoked about that. And then, guys, oh my gosh, you guys, that's the bag that they put it in for me. I needed this like I needed a hole in the head, as they say. But I got it anyway. Uh-huh. So we'll start with, with this stuff first. So very, again, I don't, I haven't seen a doily that's this, um, turquoise patina blue color and it was in great shape so I got it I got this little sewing kit with snaps and eye hooks again kind of sourcing to make um, to put together a sewing notions uh, packet for sale Now, I got this for a couple of things, and then the rest I will probably sell. Fun Rick Rack, and then, oh my gosh, how can you not want this multicolored pastel Rick Rack? Yep, that's what I picked it up for. This was a big bonus. This lace is gorgeous, too. I mean, it's an interesting color. Um, caramel, maybe, would be what you would call it. And then assorted seam binding bias tape. I don't know the difference between seam binding and bias tape either. So if someone could fill me in, that would be great. Just like I said, I needed a tutorial about fabric. I... I don't understand the difference between seam binding, bias tape, etc., etc. So, more fun Rick Rack. This feels more modern, I guess I'd say. But look, look at the mini Rick Rack. Uh huh. And then more. Is this elastic? No, it isn't. More seam binding bias tape. This is kind of, it's a pretty golden yellow color and got, it has some, some nice, it, it has some nice texture. I really thought that was going to be elastic, but it isn't. Seam binding bias tape, some gorgeous yellow lace. That is so pretty. Um, <clears throat> Really wide bias tape, and then there's hem something too. Really pretty navy blue lace. This says seam binding on it. So, you know, that's what we're going to go with. Um, so, keeping a few of those things, selling, selling some other things. Then I picked up fabric. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't need fabric. I don't have any more place to store it. I do have a little bit of buyer's remorse from things I purchased today, to be honest with you. But what do you do? So I got this because it has the smaller, more intricate, that one isn't, but intricate pattern to it so there is that this that's a pretty pretty yellow background 
This is just white. Here are some cherries, which would be great for, um, you know, cookbook journals, or if you're doing a fruit journal or cherry journal. Again, this, I just, I love a smaller floral print, whether to use as a background or as your main focus. So pretty. This is, you know, this is tone on tone. I, that's, this is very pretty too. And then this one, similar, but not quite the same as that one. So that, I'm happy with those small floral prints. Here is another bag. Um, you know, they're bagged up, so you do the best. You can't always see, you know, what, what all is in there. That's a very, it's a pretty color and interesting pattern. And it would go very well with that. Sorry, I'll turn that over. Clouds and music, yellow clouds, music notes with a blue background. Huh, interesting. Oopsies, my bad. Is that... I'm going to call this mocha dots, and they're not uniform dots, and obviously not in a uniform pattern either, but I really appreciate this piece of fabric. There's this piece. It's um very, oh, oh, well, that's interesting. Look at what is on the edge there. So there's two small pieces. <clears throat> um, there's some metallic or I'm just going to go with metallic. This is very pretty. I don't no kind of junk journal comes to mind when I see it, but it's, it's pretty. Here's like a batik. Gosh darn, my elbow keeps hitting those scissors. I'm so sorry. My table is full, so I apologize too because... I am just, you're going to see a bunch of stuff because I'm out of space. Also a very, very cute um, little print of tulips. So gorgeous. So this makes me think of Meg at Chasing Retro. Here is almost like, like a wallpaper border, but it's fabric. That's very springy. This is another batik fabric. Another floral with kind of a, I was going to say minty green background, but not quite. And then daisies and poppies, it looks like to me. That's what we're going to say anyway. Kind of a gray, gray blue country. Very, this is to me very 90s looking, this piece. Um, you just need a goose to go with it. And another very pretty floral. For me, there's just something about blue and yellow together that I really appreciate. And then this small piece of fabric. Okay. Two more to go. Sorry, I have to reach. So there were a couple pieces in here um, that caught my eye, which is why I got it. So here we have a very cute... Winnie the Pooh pattern. There you go. Tigger and Winnie. Winnie laying down. Eeyore. Piglet. Yeah. Very cute. Very cute. 
if you, um, I don't need this piece of material. So if anybody is interested in that poo piece of material, let me know. Just a piece of red fabric. Look at this. Oh, I see. There's two, three, four squares. Well, not quite squares, are they? Almost looks like it's a sleeve of this. First, I thought it was cherries, but I think it's meant to be. Well, it's either a berry or a flower. I am not sure what it's meant to be. But again, I pretty colors and this makes me think of a cookbook journal, farmhouse journal. Here's the other piece of fabric. I'm not, I guess you'd call that floral. Piece of white fabric. Some pretty, um, would you say mossy green? It's not the shade of green. Now that I have this open, it's not the shade of green of my granddaughter's school. I was thinking it was, but it is not. That's okay. That's okay. It's it's still a pretty shade of green. And then this was one of the reasons I got it. Um, the clovers for their school. Um, I think that's black instead of navy blue, but I think it'd be okay. Just a fun small piece of... I really like that. I really like that. And then this fun piece. I, this was cut for something, clearly. And then this cute little doggy, doggy material. I am not planning on making a dog journal. This is sure cute. So same thing. If you're interested in this piece of material, let me know. Pardon me while I open this. Okay. A very interesting I, I really like this shade of red um some of these things in here are I don't I'll just show them to you I really like this this would also be good apple journal cherry strawberry farm journal cookbook journal just very versatile and then here is this piece this reminds me of a Scottish kilt. I, I like this too. And this material reminds me of a Scottish, Scottish kilt. Sorry, cannot talk. Our, <clears throat> my maiden name is Stevenson. And our tartan is black, green, yellow, and red. Yeah. Not my favorite color combination, but that just made me think to say that. Some cream colored material. Interesting pattern here. And then this is what caught my eye. Pretty cute. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Yep, yep. I may have someone in mind for this. I wonder who that might be. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder. That is all I have for this video. Um, again, filming this on Saturday, March 30th. Probably won't air until beginning of next week in April, actually. So, um, happy end of March, happy Easter, Happy spring, happy April. Um, I hope everybody did have a wonderful Easter holiday. Please stay safe, take care, 
have fun, and God bless. Bye-bye.